Greetings nerdy list aficionados and welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. You were all down for superheroes with powers they forgot they had part 1. Minus the judo, but no reaches like that today so get excited. I'm Sasha and these are the Top 10 Superheroes with Superpowers They Forgot part 2. Featuring copious amounts of Superman so get excited. I said that twice, just get really excited. Let's get started. Number 10, Superman and Phasing. Superman has had a wide host of abilities since his creation in Action Comics number 1 in 1938. However, not all his forgotten abilities come from the Golden Age, where it wasn't uncommon for him to do something one issue and then just never do it again. But when it comes to Phasing, this one he's used rarely, and fans actually argue about whether he should be able to do it at all. So there is a panel of Superman phasing out of the way of Doomsday's fist. This is post death of Superman, which raises a lot of questions about that fight, but that's a rant for Kelly. Don't even get her started. So some fans feel that Clark is not fast enough to phase through things, while others note that back in the day he used to lightly vibrate his molecules when photographs were being taken so he wasn't recognized. So he can do it, he just doesn't. So conceptually Clark should probably be able to do this, but again he just doesn't. He forgets. He forgets. He has so many other things he can do that if we add this to him, we're getting into Martian Manhunter turf, stepping on his and the Flash's territory. It would be cool if it was something he can do, but it takes a lot of effort, so he doesn't. Doomsday's worth the effort, though. Thor All Tongue. Yet another character who can speak any language. I'm envious of this skill. So this just doesn't come up a lot. Although really with a global hero like Thor you'd think it would. Beyond global really. So this isn't exactly like Aquaman. What the All Tongue is is that the listener will hear Thor in their native language. So he's like a walking universal translator essentially. It does come up and has even done so fairly recently. But if you were to ask most people to rank Thor's abilities and name them, this one might not come up at all. Thor isn't exactly known for his negotiating skills. Whether you feel that's fair or not is a mileage varies thing. He is the protector of the nine realms, so that means he can't just punch his way through everything. So no matter where you are in the world, you'll be able to hear Thor's dulcet tones in your own native tongue. Take comfort in that. Actually, whatever realm you're in, all the realms. Number 8. Spider-Man and Controlling Spiders to me, my spider minions. Yeah, I'm glad Spider-Man not only forgets about this, but it was retconned away. He could also talk to them for a bit. I mean, does whatever a spider can, yes, but spiders can't summon hordes of other spiders. So Peter could briefly do this when his powers were enhanced. Kane Parker, one of Peter's lingering clones from the Neverending Clone Saga, can do this. So this would be useful. Few people have the wherewithal to stand there while they're covered in spiders. But it also dives into too far territory for a lot of fans. This is the same reason they didn't like the organic weapon or the pincers. Some of this comes from way earlier arcs when Spidey would keep mutating and it would horrify him. That kind of stuff lingers. Spidey is meant to be a more relatable hero and summoning an army of spiders is not too relatable. Not to most people anyway. It'll pop up every now and again, but for the most part it's forgotten. Number 7. Batman and Accelerated De-Aging Now I hear you, you cretin, which is a real thing I was called the other day. I'm feeling old school and sophisticated. Now this is specific to an arc. It's a Morrison thing from when Batman died in Final Crisis. Of course we all knew he be back, so it was hardly the most suspenseful occurrence. So after Bruce was hit by Darkseid's Omega Beams, it looked like he died, but really he was sent back in time and had to go on an epic quest to get back to our timeline through different time periods like Stone Age Batman, Pirate Batman, Pilgrim Batman, no matter the era he was Batman, and he fought his way back to the present or the future from his perspective. However, he spent time in these time periods, so he technically should have aged. So an explanation was derived for why he didn't come back as an old man. And that was that traveling through time had granted him temporary de-aging abilities. Now as a concept, this isn't that weird. A build up in time travel energies is a good way to add a heretofore unseen ability. It's how the Silver Agent is granted powers in Astro City, it's also the source of the Samaritan's abilities partially. However, when it comes to Batman, this is a way to explain a plot hole that people would have ignored anyway. We all know that Bruce is like perma stuck in between 32 and 35. Number 6. Superman. Mini versions. So this is a one issue thing, specifically Superman number 125, and it involves 
involved Superman being able to shoot a miniaturized version of himself out of his hands. This was because after an encounter with an alien ship, Superman lost his powers except for his invulnerability. But he could shoot a mini version of himself out of his hand that had his missing powers. So this is just a fun little adventure, but one that is most often forgotten in the modern era except for on lists like this. Can Superman do this again? Imagine the look on the rest of the Justice Leaguers faces. Priceless, entirely worth it. Number 5. Green Lantern Rings and Subconscious Mind Probing So Hal has mentioned his ring could do this a couple of times. One example is in issue 175 when he's talking to the Flash, Barry Allen, during his whole I'm about to go on trial for killing the reverse Flash thing. He mentions that he could use his ring to subconsciously probe Barry's mind to see if he did it, but he doesn't. Also, it's not like this is a restricted action or anything. Do we just have to operate on every lantern's moral compass? How does the ring even do that? Do you just will it? The mind makes it real? This would be really useful if it was regularly employed, but it's one of those things I'm kinda glad seems to have been forgotten. Would you trust a guy with this ability? Jessica Cruz? That's a lot of responsibility. Number 4. Wonder Woman and Super Breath Now Wonder Woman will do this on occasion, but it's not first up in her arsenal, that's for sure. Like Superman, Wonder Woman also has an increased lung capacity that she can use for Super Breath. She can create huge gusts, put out flames, just blow over her enemies should she so choose. In all fairness, Clark doesn't use this ability much either. It was even a joke in Super Sons where Clark's son John would sometimes forget he had freeze breath and be like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. So Wonder Woman seems to forget she has this ability. That or well the writers forget. It really depends what type of Wonder Woman you're going for. She varies a lot depending on who's writing her. Some have a hard time with her base traits, balancing that compassion with her aggressiveness. And this includes female writers. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you can write women. Being a woman isn't a superpower. I wish it was. Actually, no I don't. Being a hero is a lot of responsibility. Villain life is a life for me. Number 3. Magneto and Sleep and Induction. Oh yes, what can't Magneto do? He can manipulate the iron levels in your blood. Well, one of the things he has done with this ability is knock people out. They say induce sleep, but really you're being knocked out. You would think he would do this constantly, but like ripping out Wolverine's skeleton, we don't see this very often. Remember that X-Men movie when he drew the iron out of that guy's blood? Like I said in part one, the variance in Magneto's powers and what he can do can be something to behold. Still, Magneto, master of sleep induction, I don't know, has a good ring to it. Give the people what they want. Magneto, knocking people out with magnetism. Number 2. Superman and Hypnosis So is down between this and his amnesia kissing ability, when he could kiss people and make them forget? His kiss was just that good. But also, back in the day, Clark was meant to have some latent, low-powered hypnosis ability. And for a time, he had glasses that were Kryptonian tech that enhanced this ability. This was usually so that you could explain why no one could tell that Clark was Superman, because there's really not that much difference between them. Glasses, a curl, sometimes not even a curl. I'm convinced that they all know and are just humoring him so that he doesn't feel bad about his terrible secret identity hiding skills. Like, yeah, Clark, you're not Superman at all. So Clark could stare at you with his Kryptonian eyes and special glasses and make you believe he was plain, mild-mannered, unassuming Clark Kent and also that he totally turned in all his articles. I'm just adding that. I mean, when did he write anything? Ever. Anyone else remember when he was an actual broadcast anchor working for Morgan Edge? Weird times. Number 1. Green Lantern's Rings and Energy Doubles Listen, when you have a magic space ring controlled by your own will, it can get pretty creative. One of the things the ring could do is mimic a form of astral projection, so you could send a copy of yourself ahead faster than the speed of light. But it's not really useful. It can't alter its surroundings, it can only be perceived by the guardians or other ring bearers. But anything that your double learns will be transmitted back to you. And what are you doing while all this is going on? Why you're just there, motionless, open, vulnerable, waiting to be killed. The guardians do this, but lanterns themselves, not so much. It could be strategically useful, but if you're just going to be inert anyway, might as well go there. This one is not the coolest lantern ability and is often forgotten. But hey, you never know when you need an astral projection force ghost. So those were 10 super heroes with superpowers they forgot about. Let us know who else forgot about stuff down below, or the last time you saw this ability used. If it was recently, yay, they remembered. I'm Sasha, thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more lists, and hit that bell notification so that you never miss a vid. And we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.